clinical features of ulcerative colitis. Okay, so ulcerative colitis, the clinical presentation is slightly different, especially with regards to the intestinal manifestations. And I want all of you to uh, listen to this carefully because in clinical scenarios, you will have to diagnose, is this ulcerative colitis? Is this Crohn's disease? So for that, you have got to know about the clinical features. So clinical features of ulcerative colitis, the patients can have diarrhea, rectal bleeding, very, very important. Rectal bleeding is an important, important feature of ulcerative colitis. And you can have that frequent uh, urge to uh, pass stools, even when, you know, you do not have stools. So that is called tenismus. Passage of mucus can be there, sometimes blood alone, sometimes blood with mucus, sometimes mucus alone. Then crampy abdominal pain may be there and constipation. Remember, usually what happens is diarrhea. But when there is a distal colitis, when there is a distal colitis, that is when you have got a proctitis or a proctosigmoiditis. So in that case, the proximal motility might be reduced. In that case, you can have a constipation. Otherwise, what do you expect? Diarrhea. Okay. And some patients, especially severe form of ulcerative colitis, can have certain systemic features like uh, fever, fatigue, and weight loss. So all these symptoms can be there. But remember, the severity of symptoms will correlate with the extent of disease in case of ulcerative colitis. And um, as discussed with Crohn's disease, this is a chronic disease with relapses and remissions. Here also you can have triggers and the triggers may be a stress, gastroenteritis, antibiotics, NSAIDs. Complications of um, the uh, condition, well, uh, ulcerative colitis can lead on to massive hemorrhage at times. You can have toxic megacolon wherein the wall becomes thinned out and uh, if you have got an increase in the diameter, of the transverse colon, transverse colon and uh, the right side of the colon, okay, the left colon is usually the diseased part. So when the diameter of the transverse colon or the right colon exceeds more than 6 centimeter, it is called toxic megacolon and toxic megacolon, it is carrying a risk of perforation as well. There is a risk of perforation associated with toxic megacolon. And um, there is an increased risk of colon cancer. 